Billboard aired a show on this date in 1970. Mick McManus took on Jeff Kay, Johnny Quango went up against Colin Johnson, and Ray Fury faced off against Billy Torontos. The WWWF had a Madison Square Garden show on this date in 1977. On the card, Billy White Wolf and Chief J Strongbow defeated the Executioners to retain the WWWF International Tag Team titles. And in the main event of that show, Ken Patera defeated Bruno Sammartino via count out, so Sammartino regained the WWWF World Heavyweight title. World of Sport were back on the airwaves again on this date in 1981 with a match between Terry Rudge versus Len Hurst and Mick McManus versus Kid Chocolate. New Japan held their New Year's Dash in 1991 for the headline match of Tatsumi Fujinami versus Big Van Vader for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship where the Mastodon came away with the title. On this date in 1994, the WWF held a rare non-televised Royal Rumble match at Madison Square Garden. This Rumble match was won by Owen Hart when he lastly eliminated Fatu. Also included in the match were Diesel, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels and Randy Savage. The WCW sold out show in 1999 Billy Kidman took on Juventud Guerrero, Psychosis and Rey Mysterio Jr. in a fatal four-way match for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship in what was the highest rated match on the show. Also, in the main event of the show, Bill Goldberg was able to get revenge on Scott Hall in a ladder stun gun match. WCW and the WWF clashed again on this date in the year 2000. The WWF show was held in New Haven Coliseum, New Haven, Connecticut in front of nearly 8,000 fans. Cactus Jack and Triple H started the show, building up their match at the Royal Rumble, and in the main event, The Rock and The Big Show took on the New Age Outlaws. On Nitro, it was the first show post Vince Russo, where Kevin Sullivan was in charge of the sinking ship. Billy Kidman took on Psychosis in the opener, Lex Luger defeated Bam Bam Bigelow, and in the main event, Diamond Dallas Page took on Buff Bagwell, in an ongoing feud that included Kimberly Page. XPW's annual New Year's Revolution show in 2003, Damien 666 and Halloween defeated the reigning champions Josh and Matt to win the XPW Tag Team titles. Supreme beat Justice Payne in a House of Horrors match to hold on to his XPW King of the Death match title and in the main event, Johnny Storm went up against Jerry Lynn. TNA's Genesis 2010 show from the Impact Zone in Orlando, Florida had a four-star main event title match between AJ Styles and the Olympic hero Kurt Angle for the TNA heavyweight title. Also on the undercard, two titles changed hands when Tara beat ODB in a 2 out of 3 falls match for the TNA Knockouts title and Hernandez and Matt Morgan beat Brutus Magnus and Doug Williams for the TNA World Tag Team titles. Then finally, WXW Back to the Roots 14, Carsten Beck came out to the show as the new WXW Unified World Heavyweight Champion after beating Volta. Volta had taken part in an eight person tag team street fight that had lasted 30 minutes and included people like Aaron Insane and Ewan Simmons.